This hack tip is brought to you by GoToAssist. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morse, and today I'm checking out Netcat for file transfers. Now, since we've covered how to get Netcat and how to use it for chats, we're going to delve a little bit further this week with file transfers. Now, normally you would use FTP or another option to transfer files, but if none of those are available, Netcat offers an easy way to transfer files of pretty much any kind. So let's say I have a text document and I need to get it from my Windows computer over to my Linux one. And I'm way too lazy to walk over to my office or up the stairs because, well, I'm a nerd. I just want to sit down at my computer and play games. Now, I open Netcat on the Windows machine and mine is located in the Documents folder. So I'm going to go over to my Windows machine and so I'm going to change my directory over to Documents. And if I look in here, I see netcat.exe is there. I'll type in netcat nctachh to make sure it's running correctly. All right, so I'm ready to go on this one. Okay, so I have this text document on my desktop that I wanna get transferred over to my Linux PC. So this is located in Shannon desktop and then it's called technoless.txt. So on my Windows machine again, and this is considered the listener, I'm going to type in the into the command line. So over here, I'm going to type in nctachv W30 and then the port 31337 TAC L less than technolest dot txt. Now let's break these down. First off, NC is netcat. TAC V means verbose. Using TAC V gives you feedback during an operation on the screen. TAC W30 tells Netcat to wait 30 seconds before timing out after a transfer is initiated. It will also terminate the connection 30 seconds after the transfer is complete. And again, TAC P31337 is the port. TAC L means this PC is the listener and the angle bracket inequality sign less than alligator carrot whatever you want to call it means that you are taking the file and pushing it through to the listener machine now that we understand the transfer side let's look at the recipient after the break working in IT means constantly jumping from one problem to the next each issue needs to be solved fast and every minute counts so don't waste your time juggling different tools and duplicating data entry use go to assist from Citrix the leader in remote support. You'll have the tools you need integrated into one easy to use platform so you can work faster and more efficiently. So how does this work? GoToAssist includes three essential support tools that you can customize for your needs. First off, there's GoToAssist Service Desk. It allows you to log incidents and track the resolutions. GoToAssist Monitoring proactively identifies issues to fix before they become bigger problems. And of course, Remote Support provides live or unattended support to any PC, Mac, or mobile device from anywhere to quickly resolve the issues. One of my clients is having an issue with a server, so I can track the issue and the resolution with GoToAssist Service Desk and remotely support them while I'm away for Christmas holiday. Bam, no need to hop on a plane and with everything built in together, I can quickly solve an issue and get back to opening presents. So sign up today for your special 30-day free trial today. Visit GoToAssist.com, click on the Try It Free button and use the promo code HACK. That's GoToAssist.com, promo code H-A-K. And we're back. So we have already typed in the command to transfer a file on my Windows computer, but we haven't initiated it by pressing enter just yet. So first, let's take a look at my Linux machine, which will receive the transferred file. This is what we will type on the Linux machine. First off, you'll type in nc for netcat, tac v, tac w, 2, 10.73.31.179, 31337, the port, greater than, and then technolust.txt. So again, what does this mean? It means NC is netcat, so you're opening netcat. Tac V is verbose. Tac W2 is wait two seconds before canceling the transfer if there is a loss of connection. This is not the same as the listener PC, which was 30 seconds, because you are more likely to get an error on the listener side than the client. So we are going to give the listener 30 seconds wait time instead of two. And of course, you can vary this depending on your own needs. 
Now the IP address is my Windows machine with the same port, the 31337, and then the caret, the greater than, technoless.txt means we are taking what my Windows machine outputs or is offering and then outputting it to a new technoless.txt file. Now, once we press enter on both machines, first the listener and then the client, if all goes well, you should see a few updates. So let's go ahead and do that. I press enter on Windows, press enter on the other machine. Okay, so it now tells me that that port is open for that IP address. And after a few seconds, I should see it update and go back to my normal command prompt. Now you'll notice on my Windows machine, it says it has connected to Snubs Aspire, which is my Linux machine. And then it goes to my command prompt. So that basically means that it is finished. Now, if you wanna make sure that everything has transferred over to your Linux machine to the client correctly, then you just need to type in for this text, txt uh, document, I'll just type in cat and then technolest.txt. And it gives me the output of the text file. So yay, I know it works. Now make note that Netcat will overwrite a file if it is of the same name, or you can append a file with two greater than signs, or carrots, or alligators, or whatever you choose to call them. Now do you use Netcat? Send me a comment below or email us tips at hack5.org. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack 5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolest.